Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about disabling the Microsoft's new UCPD driver. Microsoft recently introduced the new User Choice Protection driver into Windows 10 and 11 systems. This driver blocks access to user choice registry keys. The primary purpose of the driver is to force users to use the Microsoft Edge browser, which is set as the default browser for Windows 10 and 11. Microsoft claims that this is a new security feature which will prevent any third-party application from making changes to the default programs in Windows 10 or 11. That being the case, if the program is not signed by Microsoft, then when the attempt is made to make that program, whether it be a PDF reader or a browser or whatever the program is that you're trying to create as a default program, access will be denied. I did notice this on my Windows 10 installation when I would assign the default browser on my computer to be Chrome. Regardless, every time I try to start a link or try to launch something that needed to go to the internet, up would pop the Microsoft Edge browser. Now in my last video, I showed you how to remove the Microsoft Edge browser. And so in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can disable the user choice protection driver on Windows 10. This lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of VirtualBox with the extension pack and one virtual install of Windows 10 Pro. To get started, we're going to use the search bar down by our start menu and we're just going to type in CMD. When we find a command prompt, we're just going to select to run as administrator. The first thing we'll want to do is check to see if the UCPD driver is currently present and is it enabled? To do this at the prompt, I'm going to type SC space query space UCPD. Once I have all that typed in, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you can currently see that on this Windows 10 installation that the UCPD driver is present and it is currently running. The next step we're going to take is to disable the UCPD driver. So at the prompt, I've typed in SC space config space UCPD space start equals disabled. And once I have all that typed in correctly, I'll just hit enter. And it comes back with a message of success letting me know that that completed successfully. Now Microsoft is wise that the driver can be disabled. So it has created another driver called Velocity that runs as a task. Each time the machine is restarted, Velocity will check to see if the driver has been disabled and if it has been, it will re-enable it. Now to prevent this from happening, we're going to type the following at the command prompt. SCH task, scheduled task, space, forward slash change, space, forward slash disable, space, forward slash TN, and in quotes, we're going to type backslash Microsoft, backslash Windows, backslash APPX deployment client backslash UCPD space velocity. Once we have all that typed in correctly, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it immediately comes back telling us that we have successfully disabled that scheduled task from running. Let's go ahead and clear our screen. To do this, at the prompt, we just type in CLS, hit enter. Let's go ahead and use our up arrow 
to bring up our first command. Again, we're going to query the status of the UCPD driver. So at the prompt, again, you'll see that I have typed SC space query space UCPD. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Again, it says it's running. Let's go ahead and restart our virtual machine. Come back up and we'll query that UCPD driver one more time and see what the status is. We're back up and running. I've opened up my command prompt as administrator. And again, at the prompt, I've typed in SC space query space UCPD. We're going to check the status of this UCPD driver. With everything typed in correctly, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And we can see that that driver has been disabled. It's my understanding that once Microsoft was caught, trying to prevent people from changing the default programs on their Windows operating system, they did go back and they did allow or make a change to the operating system that would allow users to change the default programs that Microsoft was going to control. I have no way of confirming that. That's just what I read on the internet. And so that concludes this short video presentation on how we go about disabling the user's choice protection driver, UCPD, on our Windows operating system. You got questions, you got concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.